Hello everybody, it's that college football guy here, another video. Yeah, I had a fun day yesterday doing a whole bunch of stuff and life just took over so I couldn't get a video in. So we're going to do one today. It's a little bit of a mixed bag, so to speak. I mean, we've got a coaching carousel update, which is a micro update because most of the coaching news have been done. But as you saw in the title, a couple more coaches went off to the NFL along with the one that everybody's reported on. But I wanted to have more than just one coaching move to make a report about. Also, a little bit of an update on coaching carousel, on that coaching carousel, on conference realignment, and it's, it's first off, we got the coaching carousel update out the way. Um, pull out my notes here. Georgia Southern defensive coordinator Will Harris. Well, he's no longer with Georgia Southern. He's been hired by the Los Angeles Chargers to be their new defensive backs coach. Another one out there, and Temple's defensive coordinator DJ Elliott has been hired by the Philadelphia Eagles to be their new linebackers coach. Two more off to the NFL. Two more defensive coordinator jobs that got to be filled open soon, so that'll be moving on. Maryland has hired, and made, that's made, this made news on ESPN, former Broyles Award winner, former Miami offensive coordinator Josh Gaddis is now hired as to be Miami, to be Maryland's new offensive coordinator. That could be a good thing for Maryland. They did doing a good job last year. Hopefully this will be a good adjustment for them and they can do well. We all heard the comment that was made. I actually they haven't heard the comment. I'm not going to bring up the guy's name because, quite honestly, it's it, I, I, I didn't give much rate to it. The former head of, I think it was ESPN or whoever, who said that, oh, yeah, the ACC and the Pac-12 should merge. No, they shouldn't. Logistically, it's a nightmare. ACC, it, it's just like, it's No. It's just him. I, I I don't know what he was thinking. I have no idea, but I don't think it's a good idea. As to what's going on right now, folks, I got a DM that asked to do this. There is nothing going on right now. There are some universities, particularly some in the Mountain West, who are... Yeah, I'm bouncing around right now. They're getting their first off. There's some teams in the Mountain West that are getting their ducks in a row just in case they get a call. Which, if they were thinking there was a possibility, shouldn't they have already had their ducks in a row at this point? That's just me talking. Um, the bouncing around here real quick. Um, I'm in Pooler, Georgia, outside of Savannah. Unloading and finding out where the heck I'm going to go from here. Now, as a guy's pulling in front of me, and hopefully he doesn't hit my truck. No, he's not going to. Good job. Anyway, let that you know Nothing's going to happen until after the tournament, folks. Especially when it concerns in terms of Gonzaga, if anything happens at all. I think everything is going to happen after the tournament. Um, I didn't have one thing I thought was kind of interesting. The North Carolina made some history. The first school in history to have been preseason ranked number one and didn't make the NCAA men's basketball tournament. Congratulations on making history in North Carolina. Virginia made history not too long ago, a few years back, being the first number one seed to lose and then followed that up by winning a national championship. Could you guys do the same thing? Although, not even making the field is kind of worse. But, folks, other things to talk about in college football besides realignment, okay? Now, I'm waiting on the NFL draft because I've talked about this earlier, about doing the point scale rating for the draft. I'm also compiling my list now of preseason previews. Now, I could do, I wanted to do the preseason previews kind of more in depth, or I could do a, a, a by conference. Um, basically, it's going through on there, who'd you have, who'd you lose to the NFL, who transferred, who you got coming in, where was your class, um, do you think uh, on there and what you're going through and then a preseason prediction of your schedule not prediction of the schedule but a review of the schedule I've been debating on doing the schedule reviews just doing a previews not reviews but previews of everybody's schedules to see what they are but we already went through the non-cons and the non-cons are interesting and everybody knows what the conference games are but it's also where they're placed because certain games are going to have um a little more weight because certain ones you're going to have a bye week to prepare for it and other ones you're going to have back to back to back to back tough games which is going to if you're not in the year that's really going to t ruin your year so the question is is to you I can do a preseason review preview of everybody's schedule 
and we'll start doing that content until the, until the draft gets done. Do, um, I don't know how we'll work it out. We'll figure out something here. As well as, or, or I can do the, after the draft's over, after I do the draft uh, grades for the for universities and what they their point scale in that competition, who was the best in the Power Five and who's the best in the Group of Five, I could do that, or like I said, I could do that after the draft, do the previews before the draft, and then do the players after the draft, and then do a full predictions later on in the year, or I wait till after the draft and do schedules and the reviews of players. I'm leaning toward doing the previews previewing the schedules now so that way the videos aren't so monstrously long because if I decide to do like half the SEC with previews of players it's going to get long folks it's going to get long but um, let me know down in the comments what you think about this idea okay so thanks everybody for watching the video if you haven't already liked the video hit the thumbs up haven't already subscribed to the channel on our way to 400 subscribers see if we can get there thanks everybody for watching the video hopefully we got nothing too crazy going on today although this is a monday it seems like we always have something weird going on in college football that's the way it goes so thanks everybody for watching the video hope everybody has a great monday be safe out there and please be good to each other